I, I see the Williams Pipeline as a massive scam, uh, a, an effort towards the very end of fossil fuels. Um, we have to get off fossil fuels. We just do because it's, uh, un it's unsupportable for the climate. But the, the extraction of, of fracked gas is, it, there are some sweet spots that have been fracked and fracked and fracked and they're pulling out as much gas as they can, as fast as they can. But this gas isn't going to be producing forever. And so the companies know that. And the, the pipeline company will get a billion dollars plus a 14% profit paid for, guaranteed paid for, if they can build this pipeline. It has nothing to do with whether the gas is going to go through the pipe or not. Williams Pipeline is not extracting gas. They're not in the gas business. They're in the pipeline business. So if they can get a pipe built, they're going to make a lot of money on it. And the companies that are building pipelines are building all over the place as fast as they can. I call it metastasizing. It's like, it's like a, a spreading um, into the most remote parts of the, of the country and all over the world. Argentina, South Africa, you name it. There's massive, Australia, massive, massive investment in getting this gas to market. Right, so how do we fight this thing? We've been fighting this thing. We've been fighting this thing for a couple years. And the company actually has applied for the application three times. They got turned down, came back. A year later, got turned down, came back. Why did they get turned down? Because the, the, the Department of Environmental Conservation said, there's copper and mercury under the sea floor. You, you know, you can't dig that stuff up and leave it and release it into the ocean again.